Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Diachronic Ghoster on this Destiny 2 video, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Destiny 2 weekly reset for September 29th, 2020. Everything that has to reset from the Nightfall to the Crucible to the random major stuff going on, as well as the special events, like, for example, the Iron Banner that is going on this week. And of course, as always, with the Iron Banner, we also have double and triple Valor during the week and the weekends. So if you want to get more Valor and Valor resets, this is the best time to do it. Moving on, let's go ahead and talk about the regular weekly reset stuff, starting up with the Nightfall Ordeal. For the Ordeal this week, it will be Festering Core. Now, I've not actually done any point scoring stuff on the Festering Core, so I'm going to assume you need at least 1050 to be able to get that 100k, and it is a decently long mission with a decent amount of champions for sure. Overload and Unstoppable, my least favorite, oh boy. What can I say, I'm a Ariana's boy. For the regular Nightfalls, we have Strange Terrain, Sabbath and Song, and Warden of Nothing. For the Heroic Playlist, this week it's going to be Void Singe. For the Crucible Rotating Playlist, this week it will have Team Scorch, where everybody has a Scorch Cannon. It's actually a lot of fun, and it is getting removed next season, so play it while it lasts. And the other one will be Showdown, which was whatever. And of course, also we have Iron Banner, which is 6 v 6 control. There is level advantages enabled, which means your gear score is taken into account for power advantage and disadvantage, against enemies in the Crucible does not include the artifact. For the specific bounties that Lord Saladin has this week for this particular event, again, this is going to be the last Iron Banner of the season. We've got the one where you have to shoot and kill enemies assisted by teammates. You have to capture zones. You have to kill in advantage. And of course, finally, just getting kills and kills on a higher power. So these are pretty easy ones, pretty straightforward. None of them are ability-based, which are usually the ones that kind of screw me around. I mean, while we're here, we might as well see if we get an enhanced mod. <laughs> well, we did. Whatever. I don't as for Reckoning, this week it will be the Swords. Everything available during the Swords week is going to be available. As for the Flashpoint this week, unfortunately, it's on Mercury. And I, I say unfortunately because there's one public event that shows up every 15 minutes and lasts for around 5 minutes, and then there's one Lost Sector, and Rogue Adventures are really slow. So getting this one is always a bit of a B, so honestly, I would just ignore it. As for Escalation Protocol, this week it will be the Shotgun, one of the best special and PvE weapons in the game, so you definitely want to get yourself one if you don't have it. It also drops from Prophecy, but it's also randomly rolled. And next week will be the SMG. For Menagerie, this week the boss will be Hasapiko, the big Minotaur at the very end. The Burn is going to be Void Singe, which lines up with the other Heroic Modifiers. And then, of course, for, ironically, the Heroic Version, we're going to have things like Extinguish, Iron, Blackout, and Void Singe. Moving on to the Moon stuff, starting up with the Nightmare hunts this week we have things like Zydron, the Tanex, and Dominus Gaul. Obviously Zydron is going to be the easiest one. You can find that little spot in the rafters to just shoot the boss forever and he'll never be able to kill you. So great for if you need to get pinnacle gear. And for the Garden of Salvation challenge this week we have 0 to 100. One of the hardest challenges in this raid. It's going to be taking place during the boss encounter. And in this encounter at each individual relay you have to deposit all 30 modes pretty much back to back. So you have to have three people all with 10 modes back to back dunking all 30. And then you can move on to the next one a little bit later. This one's going to need some strategy. I would look up some guides on it. Moving on to Eververse's inventory, showing up everything that she does have available for Bright Dust and anything that just makes me go, ooh. For example, the feline fancy. It is for silver at this point, but it is an ooh for sure. Uh, checking the other things across the bottom for Bright Dust, we have things like the Sad Trombone, which is actually does play music, which is a sad trombone. We've got this uh, Adonis shell, which actually pulsates light, which is pretty cool. And it's also a public defender guiding light, which is usually the best combo because it gives you the best stuff, uh, which I will say, by the way, uh, in Beyond Light, we'll be able to customize the things that ghosts have. So perhaps this is not going to be something important to get at the current moment. But it looks squiddy and interesting, I don't know. As for the other things, you have the Transmit Effect, which looks pretty straightforward. You have the Sunrise Warrior, which is one of, in my opinion, one of the best pink shaders, because it has a good balance of very strong pink with blacks and whites, which allows you to accentuate a lot of those pink parts. So if you don't have this, do get it. For the other Bright Dust section, we have a couple other things that are pretty interesting. All mine, this is from Forsaken, so it's been quite a while. You're just gonna kinda grab all these things, dance, and then drop it. Just, sorry to spoil it. You got the Victory Shout, which is pretty straightforward. You got a, a ship here, the Paul Barrow, that looks just kind of like a paper airplane with turbines on the back of it. You gotta love it. You got the Cosmo Shell, which is a guiding light omni telemetry. Pretty good, and I really do like the galaxy look to it. Uh, this is one that came out in Curse of Osiris, and I only ever got after Shadow Keep, so it's been one I've been hunting for a while. But I do already have one, and it is pretty cool. An ornament for the Transversive Steps to make them even cooler. I do think that this is gonna be the best ornament for the Transversive Steps. A pretty popular. 
uh, exotic for sure. The Vigilance Wing Ornament, the Heavenly Vigil, one of the best ornaments I gotta say in the game, just an incredible ornament, looks really cool, very different from everything else. You've also got some other things like Ghost Rejections, more Transmat Effects, more Transmat Effects, more Transmat Effects, and some shaders across the bottom. Midnight Talon is a good old one with some interesting golden shiny bits to it. You got some Nebula Rose to make things look incredibly shiny and weird, and those are my two particular recommendations. Oh, no, 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 no. And finally, we have Soraya Hawthorne's inventory showing off the different raid challenges available this week. Starting up with the Last Wish raid, we have Fight Forever. It's going to be taking place in the third encounter of the raid during the Big Ogre. And in this encounter, you just have to not kill the regular sized ogres at his feet. So just keep those alive and then kill the boss. For the Scourge of the Past raid, in the first encounter, we have Hold the Line. And in this encounter, you basically just have to do things quickly. Try to make sure you don't let the battery level go below like 50 or 40%. You can see the battery level at the map. And finally, for the Crown of Sorrows, we have Limited Blessings. This is going to be again taking place in the first encounter of the raid and in this encounter you just have to have it so only two people have the buff at one time so just switch between two pairs of people and that's it that's that's the end of the weekly reset make sure you come check out our live streams or i say our my live streams that we do that i do i don't know why i always say we there's other people there as well but uh the live streams that i do right after these videos these resets as well as a bunch of other times at twitch.tv link in the description down below if you want to see some more we actually just have a whole lot of fun and a lot of open lobbies if you ever wanted to complete some master nightfalls or just do anything probably some iron banner happening this week come check us out we do have a we do have some fun there, but uh, yeah hope you guys did enjoy my name is Chronic, and i'll see you guys on the next one why is hawthorne louder than ikora standing here No idea where that came from.